when I first found out, I, uh, I guess I kind of didn't want to believe it. Like, I, I knew it, and I knew that I knew it, but, like, I didn't, it's like I couldn't really grasp onto it. And even sometimes now, it's like, it's, it's kind of, like, unreal, you know, because, like, I'll think of something or, like, I'll see something, and I'm like, oh, you know, like, I'll tell him this, and it, it's like, you can't, you know? And that's hard. This is definitely like the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. Joaquin's like always had like issues. He'd always had like, you know, something wasn't right or like he wasn't doing good enough and that was always a problem that he had like since I first met him years ago. And it was probably like that since before I knew him. I think the week before he was he was mad a lot. I felt like he couldn't, um, he couldn't really talk as much as he would have liked to or maybe that he needed to about things. Um, that was hard. Because I felt like, you know, like, I couldn't really do anything because I didn't really understand, you know? They called me into the office that morning and his mom went to the school and I still can't, like, I still can't believe how, like, strong she was for doing that. Uh, she went to the school because she said she would be worried about me finding out from somebody else. So she went to school, talked to the principal, and they called me in the office before first period even began. And um, I walked in and I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't see, I didn't, I feel bad because I didn't even notice that he wasn't there yet, you know? The day was like barely started and they, uh, it, it was my mom sitting in the chair, it was the principal, the vice principal, the, um, the counselor, and then like this woman I've never seen before, uh, later found out it was one of the social workers. And my mom was like on the verge of crying and I, you know, I, di I didn't know what was going on. So they sat me down and, um, the counselor just told me. She was like, uh, you know, something terrible happened and uh, I think when she started the sentence, you know, and she's like, Joaquin, it's all she had to say and it's like I knew, but I didn't want to know. So. The day after I found out, I, uh, you know, I, I called his mom and I told her I wanted to meet up with her uh, and talk to her about everything. And, uh, she was very happy to hear from me, I, I would say. So I went over and we discussed everything, like talked about it and I think I have a really good relationship with her and like I'm, I'm happy for that. I really do think my hardest, like the hardest thing is like accepting it and moving on because when something like, as 
whenever you lose somebody like that, somebody that you like really cared about, it's, it's like, where do you go from there? You know, and I think that's what I'm struggling with. And it's already been, you know, almost, it'll, it'll be like almost two months now. The past three weeks, we had a series to do, and I have this necklace that he used to wear like every day. And um, what I did was, for the series, I made that my my focus, you know, the necklace and the pictures. I try to make them look, you know, like powerful and like almost like helping me like overcome it, you know. So. And it's nice to put that into like drawings rather than speaking sometimes. I think even like like especially at our school, I think it was definitely a, a wake up call for some people. I think it opened a lot of people's eyes and I think, you know, maybe they're a little more cautious and I have some friends who are like, you know, like, it's like they want to be there more than what they used to be almost. And not really for me, but for anybody in general, just because it's like, they don't want something like that to happen again. I think it's like, it's like thinking of him and you know, talking like with his mom really makes me feel better. Uh, you know, people who were telling me, uh, you know, he, he wouldn't want you to be sad. He wouldn't want you to be hurting. You know, he'd want you to keep going, to keep, you know, like being you and going forward with it. And it gets really hard sometimes and it'll hit me randomly, but I have to think of that and I have to think, you know, like life still goes on. It's like it, it doesn't stop for anybody. And I really have to remind myself that a lot.